So just over a year ago now, we started our new trophy lodge for the new scoring system, and over the course of that year, we've been able to fill pretty much every single plaque and platform in the entire lodge, with maybe the exception of a random small round platform. I'm not sure if there's maybe one or two that are currently unfilled, but for the most part, everything in the lodge is filled, but if there's one category of those that I'm not particularly pleased with, it's the largest wall plaques. I definitely think we could do better with that, and that's why we're out here on Yukon Valley today. It's a map that's got two different species, Plains Bison or Moose could actually fill them. And I figure, since we don't have a Diamond Red Fox in that lodge yet, we might as well give ourselves a chance by at least being on a map where that could happen. So we're going to run around in multiplayer, we're going to see if we can find anything good for our trophy lodge, and hopefully we can maybe make some upgrades to some of the larger plaques. Well that is one of the best Red Fox I've actually seen in a while. The grind in single player really has not gone that well. Most of the ones we see are like fours and fives. So we'll definitely drop that guy. It's gonna be nice to see just a gold come up on a fox as a guarantee. But at this point we're kinda just killing time because we're past Plains Bison drink time and moose start here in about 30 minutes in game. So I thought we'd run around through kinda like wolf and potentially red fox territory and at least we got something decent. And I mean that being the first fox we've seen might be setting a tone for what we'll have for the rest of the hunt. Lung liver at 155 meters. And yeah, gold by a solid 1.3. And right on cue, looks like the wolves are going to come down here as well, so I'm not even sure if we have, but I wanted to try the 303 on wolves. So this might be a good time to do that. Not sure we got that guy in the lungs. I think we did that time. And the rest of them, I think I did get everything spotted. They're kind of just average size. There are quite a lot, which could lead to issues, but the more we can get down early like that, the better our chances of surviving this. I think we might have one round for each, assuming that we actually make decent shots. Let's see if we can actually, oh, that works. All right, never took damage. Not too bad then from the 303. I think we got maybe two golds out of the sevens. Because there was the one that we brain shot. I think we heart shot one and everything else would have been just lungs. That's a six that was a gold. Level three and then it would be these two. Level seven at 36.9. And a red brown level seven at 36.8. Not too bad. Didn't take long either. I actually really wonder with this guy and we might get to find out. He's a lower weight estimate than this bull over here. But a much higher score estimate. And I'm curious if he's actually going to be bigger, because he goes all the way up to 243. If we can, once he goes into this little opening. Can just get a long shot on him. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, these guys are just far enough out of range that they're not going to hear that. So we'll let the max weight decimal one lift his head. And let's just try to get a long shot in there as well. It's been a thing for a long time, so it's not really surprising to see that big of a difference in estimates when the lower estimate is on the one with the higher weight estimate. But it just used to be a thing where pretty much every max weight estimate moose was pretty good sized. Now that's not quite the case, but it's good to actually see a couple of level four bulls regardless. And I mean, this isn't a bad looking level three. He's gonna be a gold at 195. I don't know what the low end for the max weight estimate was, but I know the high end was 216, so we gotta remember that 195 for a minute. Hopefully the other four we shot didn't make it too far here. And just because we actually have killed an albino with that rack, and I know it made gold, I gotta assume this will score a little bit higher. Because the 195 was just barely a gold. And this guy is gonna be 209, so he is barely into that max weight range. I think we just happened to get some pretty crazy estimates. If we can avoid getting run over, that would be nice. But it's been interesting to see the kind of changes the moose have undergone and just trying to keep track of everything, like what is going to make gold and knowing what racks to actually look for has gotten a little more difficult, I would say. I'm pretty sure at least we have some more wolves coming down this way. So we'll get to try out the 303 again. Maybe we can actually take an entire pack. I think I just saw. Yeah, there's definitely a full pack coming down here. Not sure from a glance if any are any kind of unique fur types. Maybe that one in the back. I think it's a common as well. 
So we'll try to spot, because this is a kind of weird scenario where we can't spot them as they're coming in. They were just too much hidden by the brush. Still, somehow. Well, there we go. I was just about to say we had managed to avoid taking damage. I think we would have accidentally claimed one, so we couldn't spot that one. Try to keep it low in the heart just in case. That is just a level one. Pretty interesting way to bring that down. And I think this is the only one we didn't get to see, and it was a level two, so nothing special in that pack. But once again, the 303 did really, really well. I think the added power there over the M1 is one of the biggest things that keeps keeping us from taking damage. Because they're going down a little bit quicker, and even after those double lung shots, the M1 usually... I'm not sure how long it takes to bring them down, but it gives them enough time to actually get to us. And it seems the 303, at least normally, isn't doing that, so... I'm going to definitely play around with that a little more. But it might really be the best wolf defense gun. Because that's the second time now we've done just really, really well in a decent sized pack. If I'm reading that right, there were six there. Every time I see one of these, I always get my hopes up that it's going to be an albino. But that definitely is an egg white. We'll go ahead and try to take the shot with the 303 anyway. Kind of the first interesting thing we've seen. And of course, right as we're getting ready to do that, she's going to sit up. Actually, front one kind of moved though, so I guess they're alert. Not sure why, and immediately they're going aggressive, so we can see the 303 once again. I do really wonder though, and I mean from a distance, just about anything will work well. Because we can hit these guys as they're coming in and really just reduce how many you're going to get here. I think that's going to be two hit in the lungs. At this point, I think we're kind of just fine. <laughs> we'll just kind of move forward and once they get a little closer, we'll worry about trying to get our shots off. I do believe, once again, though, I've managed to spot everything, so not as worried about shot placement. Still two left. I think that might have been a bit back on that six. That'll do a little better. Second one we just sent flying. And I don't hear anything else, so that's another full pack. I don't even know if we took damage on that one. We might have. Can't tell if we didn't heal last time or if we took a little bit. But again, a little bit of a different circumstance. But the 303 really proven that it's quite capable of handling a pack of wolves. Anyway, I think this is going to be our egg white female. Still cool. It's a silver. I can't remember if we have an egg white silver saved. I've got a plan to have one of every fur type of a wolf in the Trophy Lodge eventually. And for the females, for a couple of the multi-mounts, since they can't make gold, silver is basically the best we can do. And the only one we're currently missing is an albino, and it has to be a female for, like, the plane that I have going on. But anyway, since that was a good-sized egg white, I figure we better keep it. I haven't spotted this guy yet, but I am very confident that is a level 5. I can see those huge brow tines. He is a 5. 241 to 295, so not the highest estimate I've seen. And kind of nice of him to turn around here. The wind isn't good, so we're going to kind of take our time and get into range. But I like that he is even. And that's a rack we definitely don't have in the Trophy Lodge. So it would be nice to be able to get that and have him actually make diamond. We'll have to try to find ourselves a good position to get like a straight on heart shot. But I like the look of that. Those huge brow tines are usually a good indicator. Most of the diamonds do have like the bigger brow tines. So I like that. Just going to get ourselves in a slightly better position. And as long as we can just kind of make the shot here, I think we're going to be good. He's still calm. We'll even crouch just to kind of make sure he's not going to pick up on us. Let's let him drink one more time just to make sure. And once he lifts his head, we're going to go ahead and try to send a bullet into his heart. I do like that rack, though. That shot's going to be plenty. I wish he would have stayed how he was. That's still going to look pretty decent, I think, for a screenshot. But he almost landed just, like, perfectly level. I mean, none of his rack is actually buried underground, so... We'll take advantage of that. We don't get a lot of opportunities for really good-looking moose screenshots. I wish we could be a little more, like... I don't know, prone but able to see all the palmation. Still pretty neat. Kind of a cool background, actually, that big mountain back there. But the question is... Is this guy going to make diamond for us? 
He is 279. Not by much. He made it by a solid... Barely four. But like I said, a new rack. He was 601 kg. So not a bad size one. I don't know if we ever had one like this before. I imagine we have. But these really huge brow tines are not something I've had at least very often. But straight hard shot didn't even get anything else there with the 300. And that's going to be one of the large plaques that we are actually setting out to fill. And I think that's just about fitting. We have a level 3 harlequin duck out here. I think that was the last animal we killed in our last Yukon video. Looks like he's pretty much common. I think that would have been maybe a decent idea, but... I think at the range he is, should be able to get him. I do wonder, because I don't see a lot of the orange underpatch, if that could be a piebald. I think I'm just kind of wishful thinking, because... Last time we had a piebald in the same flock as our level 3. But we'll see. We get to get a great look at him. I don't know, there might be something to that. It is a piebald and a pretty good sized diamond. 7.4. I've actually always wanted a piebald diamond harlequin. Just kind of figured it would never happen. And we just about missed out by whiffing that shot on the water. That's a really cool way to end. We uh, mentioned at the very beginning that maybe some of those really small plaques, like the platforms, might not have anything on them. That one's going to go somewhere on the wall, though. I have to find somewhere to put that and take something down. Because that's way too cool to just have on one of the little platforms. I really think that might have been the easiest decision we've made since we've really started filling up the lot. Because we just got our albino harlequin recently. We have the melanistic down here. We've got our new piebald diamond up here. And the only thing to do from there was put a common diamond down here. Because I think that's now all the variations of the harlequin duck in one place. At least for the males. And they're all gold or better. And one is a really high scoring piebald diamond. I think that's quite cool. And actually the moose was a pretty easy decision as well. Because we've kind of got a wall going on up here with two different rares. I'd like to maybe put our piebald gold one out here. We might move that eventually. But I actually like the diamond up there. Just to kind of see how big they can get. And we took down a smaller diamond cape buffalo. And moved it to a different room. But I like that. If we can maybe get either a better uh, like piebald or move our other piebald to here. I think that'll look pretty good. I like what we got going for that wall, but anyway, that turned into a pretty good hunt after a really slow start. Got some pretty neat stuff and definite long-term additions to the lodge, but anyway, that is gonna do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.